When many people hear the word Marlin and rifle together, they probably envision a lever action gun. While Marlin has been producing lever guns since the 1880s, they also provide the American sportsman and woman a complete line of bolt action rifles. Hello, I'm Bo Keister and I want to welcome you back to Davidson's Gallery of Guns. Joining me in this segment is Tom Beckstrand, former Special Forces officer and contributor to Guns and Ammo. And we're looking at the Marlin X7 VH bolt action rifle. Tom, welcome to the show. It's great to be here, Bo. Tell us, was the X7 VH built for a specific purpose? The X7 VH was built to be a varmint hunting rifle. And we know this because our first and most important visual indicator is the long heavy barrel. Long barrels are where we get our velocity, which is great when you're trying to shoot unknown distance. And then the heavy barrel is great when we're, sent, when we're shooting extended firing strings. So, you know, a varmint hunter, it's not one shot, it's usually lots of shots. And so uh, we look at that barrel and we know right off the bat this is for varmint hunting. So what other features does it offer? Well, the rifle comes in three chamberings, 223, 22, 250, which is great for your diehard varmint hunters, also in 308. This particular rifle here is chambered in 308. It's got a 26 inch tube, which is great for the muzzle velocity. It's got a one to 12 inch twist, uh, and that's gonna be great for the lighter bullets. So you're hunting thin skin game, or if you do wanna hunt varmints with a 308, this is the right twist rate for it. Um, also, we've got a two position safety. We've got safe and fire, uh, manual cocking indicator at the back, just matters of convenience. Uh, the trigger is user adjustable, which is awesome. Two and a half to six and a half pounds, so you can set the rifle up however you want it. And there's a safety design incorporated into the trigger. You have to depress the shoe before the trigger can move all the way to the rear. Those are just some convenience features, make it nice for if you're spending a lot of time behind your rifle. Well, I know we had a lot of fun with it, uh, and I mean, performed really nicely on the range, but you showed us a, an interesting technique for helping stabilize the gun, especially one with a really heavy barrel like this. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Sure. Normally, when you shoot the kneeling position, we kneel down and we rest our, our support arm on our, on our knee, which gives us great bone-to-bone -bone support, and it's great for stabilizing the front of the rifle, which is where that heavy barrel is, uh, but it's only one form of support. and so. What I did yesterday is we want to try to find a way to secure the back of the rifle. And so all I did is once you were kneeling and you had a, that good front support set up, I maneuvered myself into position to where you could rest your elbow on my shoulder. And what that did is enable us to lock down the front of the gun and the back of the gun. And it makes for a lot much more stable shooting position. Well, it also allowed me to go back and forth between the steel targets really quickly. What else uh, about the gun helped me do that? Well, the, the bolt handle's got some checkering in it, which lets you uh, assist you in holding on to it when you're trying to work it fast. Uh, if Mother Nature wants the bolt to stay closed, it's fluted. So if you're out uh, shooting in, in really icy conditions, it makes it harder for the bolt to stick, and that's nice. Accuracy's big uh, with a varmint rifle, with any rifle, really. Uh, this particular rifle has two aluminum pillars right here where the action screws are. And so what happens is when you um, tighten those action screws down, it sucks the receiver down, sits on a couple of the solid pillars and makes for a very stable base for the receiver and makes for an accurate rifle. Tom, thank you so much for coming on the show and joining us today. No problem, it was great being here. And while we were telling you about the Marlin X7VH bolt action rifle, Anne Marie was looking for one on the Gun Genie. What did you find, Anne Marie? I ran a Gun Genie search in the great state of Montana and found six gallery of gun dealers within 50 miles of Great Falls who have the Marlin X7 VH. Now the good news is all of them were selling it for less than the suggested retail of $396.95. So what are you waiting for? Go to your computer right now, log on to the Gun Genie, and see what kind of deal you can get in your area. Tom and I'd like to thank you for joining us today on Davidson's Gallery of Guns, and be sure to tune in next week. Have a good one.